Hi friends, I'm Melissa from Be Kindergarten Ready. Today we've got a very special book to read. I really do hope you like it. Before we dive into our book, Preschool Parents and Guardians, I've got a free gift for you. If you'd like to find out more on how you can help get your child ready for kindergarten, click the link in the description below to claim your checklist that provides a list of skills your child needs to know for school. Now, if you have this book at home, be sure to go get it and follow along with me. Arthur's Valentine, written by Mark Brown. Someone was sending Arthur Valentines, and Valentine's Day wasn't until Friday. They were all signed, Your Secret Admirer. It was a real mystery. Who was Arthur's secret admirer? It might be Fern. It could be Buster playing a joke. Or maybe even Francine. She was always teasing Arthur. Arthur hoped it was the new girl, Sue Ellen. On Wednesday, Arthur found a new Valentine. Apples, bananas, peaches, a pear. With a face like yours, you're lucky I care. Your secret admirer. P.S. In your lunchbox, you'll find a treat. It's just for you, and it's extra sweet. Arthur hoped it might be chocolate, but at lunch he found this note. Candy is sweet. Lemons are sour. I'll be watching you the whole lunch hour. Arthur looked at Sue Ellen. She smiled. Thursday, everyone made Valentine boxes. Arthur decided to make a special card instead. When everyone mailed their Valentines, Arthur put his card in Sue Ellen's box. Then, when nobody was looking, Arthur hid the Valentines from the secret admirer in his coat pocket. After school, Arthur took off his coat to play soccer and all the Valentines fell out. Everyone laughed. Buster called him lover boy. Hey, hot lips, shouted Francine. Arthur left when everyone sang, Arthur and his girlfriend sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Arthur with the baby carriage. Well, that's not very nice. The next morning, Arthur said he was sick. You don't want to miss the big Valentine's Day party, do you? Asked his mother. Arthur went to school. Ick! Who sent me this mushy Valentine? said Sue Ellen. It's signed Arthur, shouted Buster. Everybody laughed. Arthur loves Sue Ellen, everyone sang. After school, Arthur wanted to be alone. On the way home, he climbed up to his treehouse. There, he found another valentine. I love you in London. I love you in Rome. Look in your mailbox when you get home. XOXOXOXOXOXOXOXOXO. Your secret admirer. That's a lot of hugs and kisses. Oh, gross, said Arthur, and ran into the house. I believe this is for you, Arthur, said his mother. It's a love letter, said his sister. Arthur went to his room. There was a movie ticket in the card. My love, tomorrow is the day. We meet in row three, you in seat A, me in seat B. Your secret admirer. On the card, Arthur saw a smudge. He looked very closely. Something had been erased. There was an F and an R and an A. <gasps> F-R-A-N. C-I-N-E! Who could that be? The next day, Arthur had a plan. He ran to the movies so he wouldn't be late. He found row three. He sat in seat A. Francine smiled at Arthur. So you're the secret admirer. Good guess, four eyes. Close your eyes, said Arthur. I want to give you a kiss. Really? said Francine. Close your eyes and count to ten. Okay, said Francine. 
Arthur, can I open my eyes yet? Asked Francine. Arthur? Well, he got out of there real quick, but he left behind kisses for Francine. And that's our book, friends. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.